if we are serious and we want to have self-sufficiency and build our agri industry, our local people must be empowered. We must give them incentives. Like Mr. Mufa said, let's categorize them into commercial farmers. I have 5,000 acres right now lying down on top. I don't have the money to go into 5,000 acres now. I'm building from somewhere. But if I have a government that will say that, you know what, those of who have 1,000 acres and above, come, let's sit down. And let's see how we can empower you to serve in this sector. Cassava can, can be can be can be processed into flour. Now we are we are we are we are importing flour from Ukraine and elsewhere. We can begin to now process cassava flour and begin to distribute cassava flour to do everything that wheat flour is doing. Cassava flour can do it. It can do um, pastries, it can do bread, it can do everything, even indomie that we, we import. We can have cassava can be processed to do indomie. So, what are we doing? We import starch from Thailand, Vietnam, Brazil, and elsewhere. And every year, we spend more than $600 million to import starch. We can process cassava into starch. We import ethanol into the country for our uh, beverage uh, uh, industries. Cassava can be processed in, into ethanol. We are, we are even, in, you see, if we're not careful, a time is going to come, we may even import garlic from elsewhere. We need to empower the local farmer on the ground to be self-sufficient so that he can do more and provide more. If you're not able to do that, and we are depending on foreign uh, investment and everything, a time is going to come, uh, uh, like Mr. Mr. Edward said, uh, the, the only thing, the only production, the only industry left for everyone to be involved is agri. If we lose the agri sector to foreign domination, that will be the end of Ghana. 